Hello everyone. Today I am doing a comic video. I haven't done a video in a while. I don't want to bore you guys with meaningless rehashes, although it's not like I haven't done one or two. But uh, anybody who's watched my previous uh, coin videos, um, I recently sold most of my raw Morgan dollars. Um, I'm kind of reshifting my focus uh, regarding Morgans to toners, if and when I can find them. Uh, but I'm not going to go so heavy that I'm going to spend too much money on one or more. So what I have done recently is gotten a bit of a, an affinity for double cover books, especially when I can get them at a decent price. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, double cover is simply a manufacturer's error where, um, where the comic book um, gets shifted over to the cover area and ends up picking up more than one cover before it gets stapled. Um, and so it makes its way onto the shelf, be it in the past, present, and apparently even definitely the present. Um, I figured with current manufacturing techniques, there'd be many fewer double covers. But, uh, so I, uh, um, I picked up a couple here and there and recently, uh, last week or so, uh, this being August 5th or 6th of 2024, I picked up this one on eBay and it had been up there for like 50 or $60, um, buy it now, but being a 6.0, and the fact that I'd be looking to uh, de-slab it anyway, because it's not like a high-end book. Um, I just thought that 50 was probably higher than I wanted to pay. Um, not a horrible price, but it sat there for a while. And then somebody, uh, or the, the seller, decided to put it up for an auction. And I ended up getting it for almost half of the 50 or so dollars. So I'm not going to argue. I also looked at a couple of videos on deslabbing CBCS books. Um, and this isn't one of those. So I figured I'd try old Mr. Pliers. And I know this is not the proper way to do it, but I'm just looking to break the, uh, break the seals. So for now, I'm going to, there's some tabs here, here, here. And here, and I'm going to try to just kind of snap those off, and I don't think I'm going to uh, hinder the book at all. So it's just a matter of kind of working them around. And if I can't, then uh, I'll, uh, I guess I'll have to restart the video. Oh, all right. That's the top of something. probably the label area itself, but still, it's the beginning of the end of the slab. And this is a Nova 12. It's a 6.0, and it has, it has cream to off-white pages. And so, to me, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, that helps. And uh, so... I figured, what the heck? Um, 
And of course, I'm trying to do zero damage to the book. Um, but, uh, and it also, and it's not, I'm not here because of the, the, the Nova itself. I'm here because it's a Spidey, a Spidey cover. And it's a Spidey cover. And I figured, like I said, I got it for a good price. Oh, there's the bottom part. Make sure you pick up the plastic because I walk around bare feet up here all the time. Um, and so I figured, ah, ha, 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 look at that. Wow. Smarter than the average bear. Um, kind of got to be old to understand where that came from. Um, and uh, so, ah, that's good. And we will slide this out untouched. All right. So, and just like that, once you can get into it, you can slide everything out of there. So, and so what we're left with is this uh, sealed thing. Here's my scissors. And for me, this is as dangerous as any of the other stuff because if it was a real book, if it was a real book, I'd be worried. But as long as you're not touching the book, I get some glare from the from the light in the fan. But yeah, I mean, double covers are out there. I'm uh, I joined a a double cover Facebook group, a double cover and manufacturer error Facebook group, and um, um, it's interesting. And there there are some people out there with some. Uh, some really nice double cover books. Um, Spidey, I mean, old silver Spideys. Now, I have one, and I will be showing it. And again, I've shown that before, so it's not a great big revelation. But it's uh, finding a double cover in the raw is, in my opinion, so much better than uh, uh, buying it. Because uh, something about being in the right place at the right time, um, finding a book, uh, I'm assuming that most people are not out there opening every bag and board to try to find a double cover. I guess, though, if you're going through a, a box that is loose comics, not bagged and boarded, and look at that, there we go. There is this book with the inner well taken out. That worked out pretty well. Scissors away. And so to look at this book, what do we got it? Oh, we got a we have a piece of inner plastic at the centerfold where the staples are, which are attached. I don't think I'll be keeping that, but that's interesting. I'd never cracked one open. So yeah, so these are cream to off-white pages. smell like a comic. They don't smell like smoke or anything. Now this one here was graded a 6.0 uh, and the first cover was 5.0. So the outer cover was graded a 5.0. It's got some wear and some, some defects here and there. Wear, defects. Um, and just some, some, like, some roughness on the edges here. And the inside cover was 6.0, and you always get the higher grade. Uh, and, uh, and so there's the inside cover. I'd like to see what the 6.0 part is. Oh, it's, it's the same thing. It's it, this particular piece of wear here, this particular piece of wear here, goes through to the book here. So... And where does it go on the inside? Oh, it's uh, it's probably got some foxing too. I didn't I didn't look up the uh, the CBS number, but it's got foxing, and uh, and I guess apparently from what I understand, foxing is takes a it, it they they give they take a lot off. Forgive the 
stuttering. Uh, looks like maybe some light moisture here, here and here. But uh, getting it for the price I got it for, and let me slide this into a fresh bag and board. I got these resealable bags. I got 200 of them from Amazon. 200 bags, 200 boards, resealable for $35. And of course, shipped to your door for free. And I think I've done three orders of them already. And I've been going through my amazing and uh, some early Batman. So I'm, all in all, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Uh, let me adjust this a little. This is... Uh, let me bring this up a little. And I'll move it back. So forgive the, uh, the shakiness. Okay, that's better. So, uh, I'm very happy with what I got from Amazon. And uh, it gets a little monotonous sitting in your room and, and changing out the bags and the boards. But when you're done doing a short box or a long box, it really looks good to have all the same bags and boards. Um, I'm actually going to end up sliding this in when I'm done. All right, so here's my... All right, so here's the other double covers I happen to have. I'll do them quick. I got a Detective... Uh, 487. Uh, it's a nice Batman, Robin, and Batgirl cover. So I got that one. <clears throat> I got a Marvel team up. I I, I enjoy Marvel team ups. Uh, Marvel team up 38, Spider Man and Beast. And this is upper mid grade. I'm probably gonna sneeze here in a minute. I have a uh, a Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man 108. Strangely enough, I also had the Mark Jewelers version of this. So I have the regular version, the Mark Jewelers version, and a double cover. So that's kind of cool. And that's also upper mid-grade or so. And I don't press these books just for being in the uh, in the collection anyway. Here's an amazing Spider-Man 240. Nice uh, vulture cover. I've seen these on eBay a lot, so there must have been something with this particular manufacturer run. I've seen several of these books with a double cover. I got a Tarzan, Lord of the Apes, from Gold Key. Um, I bought it because it was inexpensive. It was not low grade, and it's got those nice painted covers that Dell and Gold Key used to have. So it's, I don't collect Tarzan, but cool cover and double cover and good price. And same thing with this. This was a, a, a good price. Um, probably a little lower mid-grade-ish. Probably very good fine. So 5-0-ish. Um, still, I'm not complaining. I got it for a good price. Double cover, old book. Uh, Charlton Comics. Uh, nice colors on it. And, of course, the big one, which I've, I've done before, is my Amazing Spider-Man 66 that a, that a friend of mine got signed by John Ramita Sr. And then I got it graded, and it came back a, a 9-4 with white pages. So I got a double cover signed by John Ramita Sr., the late, great John Ramita Sr., high grade, white pages. So that's kind of what started me off on these. And then I just started paying attention a little more. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, uh, I learned something about cracking a CBCS slab with these little tabs in the corners. Uh, if you have comments, please. If you have criticisms, please leave a comment. Uh, appreciate you watching and have a good day.